Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Vinita here giving you another hair video and gosh I have missed doing one of these. So today we will be doing a uh, draw tail, um, ponytail, yeah um, this one is special because um, my current hair is special and the length of our hair is not the same all through but I'm here to tell you that you can achieve a beautiful sleek ponytail on your first natural hair even with short sides so stay tuned and enjoy Basically, you can see what I was saying about the sides of our hair and the back of our hair and this is due to the previous haircut that she had on and so the sides now are lagging on catching up with the crown of her hair but then we're about to fix it and turn this into a beautiful and slick ponytail like you saw at the beginning of the video first things first I'm blow drying the hair basically i just want to stretch out the hair a bit to loosen out the curls considering how kinky and coily our forcing natural hair is so i basically run my comb and blow dryer through our hair and detangle it at every point to be able to get that um, seamless slick ponytail that we want to achieve and when i'm done with that i simply take a uh, a string from my acrylic wool like an excess acrylic wool i have lying around i just put the hair together i prefer this to using rubber band because rubber band cuts the hair and makes it i don't know i don't really like the feel so basically i'm going to use this drawstring to put the hair in one place now typically in other youtube videos you probably see them put the hair in sections before putting them into a bun but i wouldn't be using that method today because of the length of our hair being on seamless ultra so i just want everything to be in one place and not have bumps or fly around so yeah i'm just going to brush through the hair with my small brush the big denim brush till i feel satisfied with how smooth the hair is looking next i go in with my echo styler gel um, if you've not watched my previous hair videos, I always use Echo Styler Aloe Vera variants on my hair. I basically just walk my way through the perimeters of our hair, putting the gel all through to the back of our hair, just trying to get the gel in, not too much, but not too small either. We want the hair looking as sleek as possible. And at the same time, we're trying not to take it with texture, so we didn't do a lot of blow drying to the hair. So, how to achieve a slick bun without using so much heat on your natural hair? Then I go in with my denim brush. As you can see, my client is excited already. <laughs> she didn't think that we're going to be able to achieve a bun with her hair, considering how short the sides of her hair are. Well, here you go um i'm trying to put away the excess part of the bun to be able to attach the drawstring at the end of the day when i'm done slicking down the hair and just like putting everything in its right place sure that it's all folded in i'm just trying to work my way on the edges now trying to position where i would you know do the swoop swoop motion and um make the edges look slick i just want to see how this all will turn out when i'm done then next i will take my string again on that parts of the string and try to centralize initially i wrote on the screen that the bone is not centralized so this is how i walk my way around it without losing what i had previously done to reduce stress while walking i just take this drawstring again and you know just drag it through the hair that way it pushes the hair to the center at first it looks like it's super tight but when i release my hand from it it actually um comes back to a bearable amount like the tighter the better with forcing natural hair honestly at first it looks like it's very tight until you're done it releases itself it's so kinky that it will find its way back so the tighter the better and then i just go back with my denim brush back and forth with my gel and denim brush trying to make sure all fly 
out uh, like back in laid back in their rightful places everybody is doing what i want them to do so as you can see i'm going back with my gel again trying to put down those flyovers or the fly outs that are not respecting me or obeying my call they must obey they must respect me and then the final touch the final magic yes the silk scarf guys i cannot overemphasize the importance of silk scarf when you're doing your bone man when you're doing all these natural hairstyles with gel this just perfects everything forget the brushing forget the combing this lays your head down looking sleek and snatched even if there are white residues this will always do the magic for you so get you a silk scarf if you want to achieve such sick, sleek and seamless look now my girl is looking all snatched we're taking our drawstring it has two combs attached to it uh, and a elastic drawstring that's why it's called a drawstring ponytail Duh. okay <laughs> and then i'm attaching it to the bone now and trying to fix it Dra i'm dragging the drawstring as you can see and i'm just gonna tighten it around yeah and um, try to make it firm as possible so we know that this wig ain't going nowhere baby so uh yeah you can see the black scarf i attached to the edge of her hair i just want the edges to still be in place to avoid i did it before she did her makeup so that the edges don't go and try to disobey me because forcing natural hair very disobedient especially the edges i don't get it but yeah it is what it is yeah so we just lay it down while i walk on the drawstring ponytail as you can see i'm wrapping a piece of the extension around the root of the ponytail just to give that seamless transition from her natural hair to the extension i don't like just attaching the um drawstring ponytail to the hair without covering it up like this just to give that um seamless um, natural transition i prefer it this way than just attaching it and leaving it this way it looks more natural it looks more seamless you know it looks snatched and all that shit <laughs> but yeah as you can see looking beautiful the ripples are still there showing that her hair is still very much natural and not heat damaged then beautiful part of this your edges baby we're just going to go into these edges and swoop 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 try to lay it all leaving it all cute and shape then uh, after this if you cannot do this this is absolutely optional i just always love doing these edges i don't know i like them a lot after doing this i go back with the black scarf you saw previously and lay those edges in place because baby you ain't going nowhere this always does the trick for me man and when it's all dry and done Voila, honey. Yes, girl. Tonight I might fall in love, depending on how you hold me. I'm glad that I'm coming down. Can't let no one come control me. Keep dancing and calling love. She fighting but falling slowly. If ever you are in doubt, remember what mama told you, brown skin girl. Your skin just like pearl. Comment and subscribe. I never trade you for anybody else.